Hey, what's going on? Check out this quick Printful tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to set up your Printful to your shop so you can get started making money. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel if you're new and give me a thumbs up for the video. But let's go ahead and jump right into my computer and I'm gonna show you this quick Printful tutorial. All right, hey everybody, we're here on my computer. Here we are on Printful and we're gonna do a quick Printful tutorial, show you guys how to set up Printful so you guys can start making your own t-shirts, uh, print on demand t-shirts, start making some money. Once you guys set this up, um, it's totally automated after that. You can just sit back and let the t-shirts uh, be listed on the platform of your choice. As you can see here, uh, where the, hmm, let me see if I could do that. If you can see here floating around me, uh, they got all the different platforms that you can set up uh, with Printful. So Printful is a pretty cool platform. I've been messing around with it for a couple months. I've made a few sales. Uh, just a couple days ago, made another sale. One of the um, phone cases that I made sold to somebody all the way over in the UK here from the United States and so um, pretty cool stuff I think it's awesome and so uh, I definitely gonna keep adding more platforms as I go right now I've got three platforms set up and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the uh, ways that you can set up the platforms and which ones are quick because they have this cool little list here um, that you guys can see here when you set up uh, a Shopify platform it's saying the setup time with that is very very fast uh, the thing about Shopify is you have to pay for that every month so really if you're starting to get a lot of sales and you want to use this Shopify platform um, you know that's definitely something to keep in mind Etsy um, all of them some of them uh, a little more than others but all of them you really have to pay something with Etsy it's very very little I think it's a couple cents per each one that you add on and each month that it's on um, I get a very very tiny bill for the uh, dozen shirts that I have on there so um, I've sold one shirt on there or two shirts and it covered you know my bill for those for probably the next couple of years uh, WooCommerce is a plugin for your WordPress website and so I have that set up as well at www.shirts.casa that's C-A-S-A -S -S and you can go check that out as well it's just a little website set up integrated with this when I make a t-shirt design now I can just click a button and it goes to my Etsy store goes to my uh, shirts.costa website and it also goes to my eBay store as well so pretty cool stuff right so uh, a couple more that you can set up is Wix uh, you can definitely go and set this up with Wix really easily uh, Wix uh, does have a free option but I believe the, the paid option is going to give you a little more uh, things that you can do with it. Uh, Squarespace, it's saying that's a moderate setup. Uh, Webflow is uh, also a moderate setup. And this one, Equid, is a fast and easy setup. So maybe I'll try that one next. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see me set up some of these other shops? Uh, let me know and I will definitely be happy to make a video for you guys on that as well. So we got Big Commerce here. It says that one's another one that's fast. So uh, these two would be a good one to try out. Press the shop says that's moderate. Um, now saying it's moderate doesn't mean it's very hard because my uh, WooCommerce said it was moderate and that was super duper easy. I thought anyway. So um, the Etsy was also real easy. Actually, the Etsy was super duper easy because it was just a click of a button and it took you over to Etsy and you authorized it. Same with the eBay as well. Uh, WooCommerce, there was a couple more steps, but I still didn't think it was very hard at all. Um, so you can also go into Weebly, which is another cool little platform. Amazon, lots of people making a lot of money on Amazon. You come up with some cool shirt ideas, you could definitely list those on Amazon. It does cost uh, to list on Amazon a little bit more than the other ones. So keep that in mind. If you want to look into that, just go to Amazon. On, go all the way to the bottom and hit the button sell with us of course eBay eBay is definitely uh, one of these ones it says the setup time is slow with eBay but I didn't find it to be slow so maybe something's changed uh, in the meantime but when I set mine up uh, definitely didn't seem like it was a uh, very hard to do even though this is saying slow so that's interesting um, big cartel saying that one's a fast one wish uh, wish is saying moderate I definitely uh, have plans to set up a wish store with some of the shirts uh, that I'll be making in the future so that's gonna be uh, something to check out interesting wish has a lot of cool stuff uh, magenta that one's going to be a slow setup time on that one and I haven't really heard of that platform but we also have store Storm V Gumroad ship station Storm V and Gumroad both say fast on them and we have Bonanza 3d cart launch cart Printful API so these are all the different platforms you can integrate with your Printful and it's super duper easy and so on this Printful tutorial what I'm going to show you how to do is go over to um, 
your products, create a shirt. We're going to list that shirt on our platform, which is the click of a button. You can see here I have three platforms set up. I have my eBay, my uh, website, and my Etsy account all set up. So we create one shirt. I can click a button on each of these, and that shirt is listed live on all three of these places. And the more places you have your shirts listed, the more shirts you're going to sell, right? And some of them have higher fees than others. Like obviously with the uh, my website, I'm not paying any fees to anybody listing it, right? Um, but it's up to me to go out there and promote it. When you're on a platform where there's already millions of people going on there every day, it's a little bit easier to make sales. But as a trade-off for that, you are having to uh, give them a little bit of the money for your sales. So um, either way, I think it's fine because, like I said, once you set it up, it is totally automated and you don't have to do anything else. So to uh, make a shirt, you're going to just click over to product templates. And I believe that the shirts are back even uh, after COVID. And so you can see here, here's a couple of the uh, phone cases that I made recently with uh, the shirts being offline. These were the uh, very best choice as far as quickness. And uh, even just the other day when the phone case sold, I noticed that shipped out very, very quickly. Uh, the shirts that I sold are still waiting to get uh, shipped out because of COVID. But I'm sure they'll have all that stuff uh back to normal soon so when you click on product templates you're going to want to click up here to new template and it's going to bring up this window here now once you're in this window um, you can click uh, just t-shirts is what we're going to look, look at today as an example um, and it's still unavailable so that is a bummer guys we have still no t-shirts available so let's go ahead and uh, show you how to do it with something else and uh, let's just go back to my go-to which is the um, um, which is the phone cases if i can get back to it go to products and we'll go to let's see i believe it's under accessories and then we'll go to let's do a samsung case this time just a little bit different so we'll pick a samsung case and we're just going to click on that and it brings you up here to this uh, little screen here you can drop your design right here you can choose a file you can add a text or you can just use the clip art that they supply you so um, the clip art they supply is pretty generic but you can definitely use that I mean some of the stuff I've sold uh, a couple of the shirts I sold all they were was just white shirt that said Saturday and so you don't have to have a, a very intricate design with a lot of details sometimes the simple stuff sells and so maybe uh, you just want to do a, a simple hearts on your phone you can use their little uh, design there and that's really it guys I mean that's a simple little heart phone case um, you can go into it as much as you want you can add uh, photos if you wanted to choose a file you can just pick a file um, and just add that right to your um, thing there like here's a an America um, license plate that I used it was a cool little license plate I saw uh, on the wall at a diner and I snapped a quick picture of it and threw it on a phone case uh, on an iPhone case and it's actually been getting a lot of views on eBay so uh, maybe I'll go ahead and put that on here you can see uh, originally it's got some sizing uh, so you can play around with it you got to uh, make it smaller you got to make it uh, the way you want it you know um, but if you don't want it, you can always just, uh, you know, keep playing around with that. So I'm not going to spend too much time getting the perfect design. This is not a, a tutorial on how to design. It's just uh, how to get this stuff up there. So once you have it up there the way you want it, let's say this was my perfect case. This is the way I wanted. I wanted my hearts around a Samsung right there. I would just click continue. And once you're there, uh, it's going to show you just a little bit of how it looks. You say save product template. And really that's it. Once you have that template that is how easy it is to set it up all you got to do is click this little button and click add to store you click the store that you want to add it to we're going to add it to ebay and uh, all we got to do is click proceed to mock-ups i'm going to leave all those click because i want it available in as many choices as uh, possible right then it gives you the option to choose uh which kind of mock-ups you want you can choose which photos you want to go i'm just going to leave all that the same and we're going to proceed to details um, let's go ahead and take just in the uh, details uh, section here where you can put whatever you want on your Samsung case. So we can put here that it is a heart uh, Samsung case. You can change the description in here. I usually just leave it uh, the way it is, no problem. Um, you can also decide where you want to ship to worldwide. And it sets all the fees for you. It collects the money. Everything's all set after this. 
Um, so you can select free shipping, but keep in mind that's going to come out of your profit. So it's uh, if you want to set free shipping, make sure you adjust your price accordingly. Um, so the next screen, you're going to set your price, right? So if you did select pre sh free shipping, make sure that uh, you charge a little bit more. I've got the phone cases set uh, to sell at $16.50. And with that, I make a profit of $5.55. And the shipping usually costs about 3 or $4. So if you're going to cover uh, free shipping, you would want to increase your profit uh, to match. So either way, the customer's paying the same thing. But a lot of times when you put the free shipping, that entices customers to go ahead and make that purchase through you for whatever reason. Um, a lot of people have had a lot of luck with that. I usually go ahead and make them pay the shipping. but either way you do it is fine and so here you've got all your different uh, available options for this particular case all you got to do is uh, edit the quantities so keep this in mind when you're doing this it's be very careful you don't want to go on here and put a hundred a hundred a hundred a hundred because maybe your eBay store doesn't have the uh, capabilities to handle that when I first went on here and started doing some t-shirts I did that and it maxed out my whole uh, store and I had to call eBay and have that increase so you can see right now uh, my store has a quantity of uh, 1118 and this is just what I have up there already. So I'm going to leave this pretty minimal and just put one of each case. Most of them I put one or two just to kind of see if they're going to sell. And um, then you just click OK. And I don't know if it's going to let me click OK because my face is here in the way. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and stop the video. I'm going to get rid of my face and then we'll continue. All right. So I went ahead and removed uh, the camera there. And you can see that there's just a little red button here on the right bottom. It says Submit to Store. You're just going to go ahead and click that. And there you have it, guys. That has been added to my eBay store. Just that simple. Um, and it's that easy. Now, getting it on your store is very easy, right? Coming up with the designs that are actually going to sell, especially for T-shirts, is kind of hard. It's, it's a little bit easier to do uh, phone cases. What I was doing, I uh, was just going to like a website like Pixabay. And uh, actually, I'll go ahead and show you a Pixabay real quick. All right, so here's Pixabay. Um, <clears throat> it's just a little website where you go to get a lot of royalty-free um, images or videos or clips that you can use uh, for content that you're creating. And so um, I like to go here and get little pictures for my phone cases and for my T-shirts and things like that. So you can just come in here and just make a search, you know, something funny. Um, and, you know, if you find something you want to put, these are all royalty-free, right? So you can use them. Um, but keep in mind, some of them have different uh, rules. Some of them say you can share, but you just have to mention the author. Some say you don't have to mention the author. So if you wanted to, you know, take a picture like this um, and put that on a T-shirt or something, that might sell. That might be a very good one. And these are a lot of free images, but uh, you just got to keep in mind of the, the little things like this one here. Free for commercial use. No uh, attribution required. So just take a look at that. You can use these images and put them on t-shirts uh, you could just maybe put a little uh, saying next to it maybe get a popular saying from like Twitter or something like that and put th that on there and put the t-shirt um, if you want a bunch of t-shirt designs that are already done for you I've got you covered because check this out you can go over here to this website and I'll leave a link for you below and you can get over uh, about 450 t-shirt designs it's a mega bundle these are already designed for you you have the rights to use them all you do is grab it it's 9.99 for 450 fantastic t-shirt designs uh, to create your own so you can adjust them but it's kind of all the templates done for you so this is going to give you a huge huge shortcut uh, in getting your your um, site set up your store set up having a full inventory of shirts that are uh, definitely proven to sell already and you know so you can get in there and you can get uh, niche specific you can do just shirts about cats just shirts about dogs whatever you want to do just funny shirts uh, you know anything you want to do so this is definitely a cool little thing you guys this is just a, a couple of examples of the shirts that are in here um, and like I said, they're, they're already done for you. Now you can definitely go on to Printful and make similar shirts. It just takes a few minutes, um, but this is done for you. And so you kind of get a little shortcut, uh, you know, in that aspect. So if you want to check that out, there's going to be a link below. You can go and get this for 10 bucks and just start cranking out shirts like crazy. Um, 
but like I say, you can also go to Pixabay, pick out some images, maybe go to a website like Canva and uh, make some designs on Canva. I'll leave a link to Canva as well for you guys is so you guys can go and check that out too so let me know in the comments below guys what do you guys think about that are you excited to go and start your own t-shirt business get some of these t-shirts listed on your ebay stores on your etsy stores um, let me know in the comments below what do you guys want to see next do you guys want to see me set up one of these other stores with uh, printful i want to know in the comments if you let me know i'll be happy to make you a video uh, showing you guys that but that's it really i mean if you guys want to go check out these extra uh shortcuts for your shirts you can check that out in the link below other than that uh, that was really it for this print full tutorial just showed you real quick how to, to make a design and get it up on your store but if that wasn't something you really liked uh, and you're still looking for a way to make money go and check out some of my other videos they're going to be listed uh, somewhere around here and there's definitely going to be a way on these videos that's going to help you make money because that's what I'm doing here is helping you make money so we'll see you on the next video